Every day we take for granted that the foods we eat and drink will provide all the nutrients and fluids our bodies need to survive. But for thousands of people in the U.S. today, a disorder called short bowel syndrome, or SBS, affects the intestine's ability to absorb enough nutrients and fluids from a normal diet to maintain good health, typically occurring after removal of a large section of the small intestine by surgery for conditions such as Crohn's disease. SBS can be quite disabling, leading to serious, life-threatening complications, as well as severely altering one's everyday life. Short bowel syndrome, also known as SBS, is frequently the result of surgery that was needed to treat a disease process or injury. In rare cases, it is congenital. Some of the most common underlying conditions leading to SBS are Crohn's and vascular disease, injury from trauma, or cancer surgery. If medical treatment is ineffective, these conditions might require surgical resection. Surgical resection can result in a shortened bowel leading to SBS. Patients with SBS are at high risk for diarrhea, weight loss, malnutrition, dehydration, and electrolyte imbalance due to the reduced capacity of the shortened intestine to absorb nutrients, fluids, and electrolytes. The main focus of treatment for SBS is supportive care, ensuring the patient receives the proper amount of nutrition and fluids. Other goals of treatment include managing and preventing complications, as well as returning the patient to a more normal life. Some patients receive enteral nutrition, a form of treatment that is administered through a feeding tube that is placed into the stomach or small bowel. Many patients require parenteral nutrition, or PN. This is a very specialized solution that is given intravenously directly into the bloodstream. Parenteral nutrition, or PN, is an intravenous fluid that contains water, protein, fat, carbohydrate, vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes. Some patients may also need extra intravenous fluids to supplement their nutritional needs and to stabilize their hydration. PN is customized for each patient to meet their specific nutritional needs and is most often received in the patient's own home. Although PN and IV fluids can meet basic nutrition and fluid requirements, it does not treat the underlying cause of the disorder, the body's inability to absorb nutrients and fluids. The long-term use of PN and IV fluids can be associated with shortened lifespan and life-threatening complications such as liver damage, serious bloodstream infections, and blood clots. Although each patient's regimen differs somewhat, PN and IV fluids are often administered seven days per week and in extreme cases, some are hooked up to treatment 24 hours a day. Most often, PN is administered overnight for 10 to 12 hours. This can disrupt sleep of both patient and spouse, cause frequent visits to the bathroom, and disrupt daytime activities if it needs to run longer into the day. The demand of being hooked up to an IV at length is not simply an inconvenience. It can severely impact a patient's everyday life that manifests itself in many ways, including lack of freedom, limitations on their social life, and the need to be dependent on others, all of which can create anxiety and negative changes in mood. Besides the social challenges of being dependent on PN, SBS patients also face the constant risk of developing serious catheter-associated infections that may lead to lengthy hospital stays blood clots and PN-induced liver damage or kidney problems from inadequate hydration are also concerns. When determining the needs of patients, it is important to keep in mind the goals of treatment. They are ensuring nutritional and hydration needs are met, preventing and managing complications, and giving patients more time back to their lives if at all possible. As the standard of care for SBS is associated with long-term complications, we need new therapies that go beyond symptom management to treat the underlying cause of this serious, debilitating, and life-threatening disorder.